Hey super friends, Jake here from The Brave and the Boys and today we have our first official haul of 2024. Now I have to be honest, my New Year's resolution was for the hauls to be a little bit smaller and maybe I'm not succeeding right now, but you know what? More content for you guys. Before we get started on why I bought each of these books and why you should too, I wanna give a shout out to our sponsor, Organic Price Books, who helps make all of this possible. There, if you're buying one to three books, you can save $2 with the code BRAVEBOYS, or if you're buying four or more, you can save 5% with the code BRAVEBOYS SIT. Go ahead and smash that like button and comment down below what book you think I bought, and let's dive in. Deep within a bleak and dismal swamp, hidden beneath its murky waters, lies the headquarters of the most sinister villains of all time, the Legion of Doom. Up first, we have the Marvel Omnibus section. Now you guys know I'm a little newer to Marvel. It's been about actually a year to the day since I started reading Marvel. So I don't have everything. Like I am not like a huge Marvel expert like I try to be with DC, but I did get some books I'm really excited about. Up first is Jessica Jones or Alias. This is by Brian Michael Bendis and you may know it from the Netflix TV show, but to be honest, this was actually the first Marvel Omni I ever read years ago before YouTube, before a comic collection, before everything. And I just completely adored it. So it's gonna tell the story of Jessica Jones. She's a ex superhero, private investigator. She likes to drink. She kind of likes to get into fights. And it's kind of cool how they give her like a history with some of the previous Marvel characters like Spider-Man or the Avengers. And I didn't know anything about her beforehand, but I fell in love with her character. The stuff that has happened to her, the trauma in her past and the way she overcomes it is incredible and you have to read it. And the villain, the purple man is so frightening. Then up next, we have the Hawkeye Omnibus, which I've wanted to read ever since the TV show. This is the Matt Fraction and David Aha stuff. And I've always wanted to read it. So it's gonna tell you the story of Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, Pizza Dog. It has that incredible David Aha art. I love his style, it's so unique, and it just seems like a fun story. I was so glad this came back into print, and I'm glad I didn't pay out of print prices for it. And then we had a gap filler. So I had the Daredevil by Mark Wade Volume 1, a gap in my bookshelf, and then the Charles Soul Omni. And the satisfying feeling of getting to slide this Omni in is just like, is there a better feeling in the world than that? So this is gonna be the Mark Way Daredevil stuff where he's less of a big brooding guilty Catholic and he's got, you know, he's, 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 it's more fun. It's not all just pouring rain and every loved one dying. So I'm excited to read it. I've never read it, but now that I have both, I can binge it. And I should be good until the Zdarsky Omnibus and until Marvel Knights someday comes back into print. And then Shadowlands, I guess I need Shadowlands, but I've heard mixed things. Comment down below, tell me if I should get Shadowlands. But speaking of Zdarsky, we have Spider-Man. Now, I wanted to get the ketchup cover. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll post an image up of it where it looks like Spider-Man. You know, he did the cover that Zdarsky drew himself where it, you know, he compares it to a ketchup bottle. But this has the really cool story, Spider-Man life story. Now, what makes Spider-Man life story unique is it tells the whole history of Spider-Man in a condensed version, and he ages in real time. I heard it's amazing. Now, I'm not as big of a Spider-Man fan as others. That doesn't mean I don't love Spider-Man. I just haven't read a lot of Spider-Man and I heard this was an awesome one to get. And then lastly, we have not Thunderbolts Volume 4, which everyone wanted apparently. This is Thunderbolts Uncaged. So I still haven't dived into any of my previous Thunderbolts, but I did want to get the next one in the series. After this, I think there's a Red Hulk Thunder Thunderbolts coming out soon. Uh, then maybe we'll get Thunderbolts Volume 4. But honestly, I want to dive into Thunderbolts. Every day I hear new casting news about who they're casting in the Thunderbolts movie. And I just want to be able to know what's going to happen or have an idea of what's going to happen before I see the movie. So yes, a lot of my Marvel books come from TV shows and movies and things like that. But you know what? I can't wait to read them. Let's jump into the next section. Up next, we have... I'm not gonna say indie. I learned my lesson from all the mean comments. We have creator own. Yeah, we have the creator own section. So a lot of these are gonna be books that I was bullied into buying. So for those of you that don't know, I'm a huge DC guy. That's kind of like the universe I love to death, but I am trying to expand my reading and I wanna read new things and try new creators. So a big one was Rick Remender. So I bought a lot of the deluxe edition that had been out of print for a long time, so I figured now is my chance to snag them. So up first, we have the two Fear Agents. Fear Agent is a sci-fi story about a kind of like alcoholic down and out of his luck, like Spaceman, who was the last of the Fear Agents. 
and he discovers this plot to wipe out humanity and he has to kind of put down the bottle and get back out there. So super excited to read that. Oh, then we have a righteous search for vengeance. So in this one, kind of like a quiet, unassuming guy, he gets like attacked, I think, by like an assassin, a dark web assassin, and he takes him out and then it puts him on this crazy adventure that he has to go on. Or I'm completely wrong, I don't know. Again, I haven't read it. A lot of these were blind buys, I can't wait. Then we have low. I don't know a ton about low. I think it was like the sun had developed like a lot of radiation. So everybody like, they migrated down below to the ocean, like the depths of the ocean. I heard it's packed to the gills with adventure. So I'm assuming there's a lot of water stuff or like, like maybe like sea monsters, but I got to read it to find out. And then we have deadly class. So deadly class I heard was like Harry Potter, but instead of wizards, they're like children assassins. And honestly, like that alone sold me. So I'm excited to dive into the four volumes of deadly class. And then we have one that is very near and dear to my heart. That is, the rest of the currently out, because there's one more I'm missing, Mike Allred, creator-owned Madman Universe. You might know that recently I was asked by dear friend of the channel, Omnidog, to assist in interviewing Michael Allred, who I fell in love with when I read Space Age. So if you wanna watch that interview of us interviewing Mike Allred, you can watch that here. But honestly, I kept joking that oh, I, Madman wasn't for me because I had the first library edition and I didn't want to commit to five more library editions. But then after the interview, I read Madman and I stayed up all night reading it. Like I literally haven't done that in years. I stayed up to like four in the morning reading it and it is crazy. So Madman is about the Madman character, AKA Frank Einstein, which was a creation of Allred. And he's kind of weird. It's like 1950s pop, sci-fi, like a love letter to sci-fi, but he's like, and it looks wacky and fun and light, but then he has these deep existential philosophical thoughts about life, like about what it means to be alive and what it means to love and live. And he just tries to make it through life being a hero to the best of his ability. The second volume I'm really excited to read because that has the Superman crossover where they have to go up against Mixter, 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 Mixter Pitalik, Mr. Pitalik, yes, I can never say it, I know. But what's cool is it goes beyond the stories of Frank Einstein and it has every bit of creator owned content that Allred has ever produced. And it's cool because he has things that he produced like before he was even a professional like art, like artist or writer. So it's literally a complete work of one creator. So I can't recommend it enough. I, you know, I can't wait to read the rest of the volumes. I've only read the first one. Moving on from the Madman universe, we have a book that like sounded crazy to me, but when I heard the creative team behind it, I just had to have it. So this is Grant Morrison and Dan Mora's Klaus. And Klaus is a, like a hot, sexy origin to Santa Claus. He's like this super hot Viking and it's like the origin of Christmas. And like, there's just gorgeous artwork. I had to have it. This was actually my Christmas gift from co-founder and videographer extraordinaire of the channel, Brave Boy Jordan. Moving on from that, we have a book that I could not wait to come out. Last year, one of my favorite books was Ice Cream Man, Sunday edition, volume one. If you wanna see a bunch of shorts on Ice Cream Man, I'll link them here. But this is volume two. So Ice Cream Man is an anthology horror series about like, think of like Pennywise or this like weird dark spirit known as the Ice Cream Man. And each book is one standalone horror comic. It's got amazing art. You gotta check it out. I've talked about how much I love Ice Cream Man. And Illuminerdy, who famously hates Ice Cream Man from Soup to Nuts actually said volume two was a little bit better. And then something that I was so excited to pick up from the comic book store, a single issue, which you know is rare for me, was done by friends of the channel, Comic Tom and Fire Guy Ryan, and a artist that is dear to another friend of the channel, Ben Templesmith. That is the What Not exclusive Crashdown. <laughs> So I got a couple covers for it because you can't have enough crash down in your life. You got that amazing Ben Templesmith art. You got the amazing writing duo team of Fire Guy Ryan and comic Tom. And what is crash down? It's one part sci-fi love letter. So you got a little bit of Blade Runner and Doom and Aliens, of course. But then you have these giant monsters. It gives you like a total HP Lovecraft vibe. And it is the story of people out in space trying to find a new home as they deal with unimaginable horrors. Now, by the time this comes out, I believe issue two is too late to pre-order, 
but go ahead to your comic book shops and look for issue one and two. You can still pre-order issue three and the final issue, issue four. So go ahead and read Crashdown. If you wanna watch us interview the creators and learn more about Crashdown, we'll link that here. I'll also have a link down in the description below where you can pre-order Crashdown yourself. So Crashdown, you guys gotta read it. Now there's one last thing that we are unbelievably excited to show you guys. So this is something that me and Jordan are both very proud of. That is, we both have our first dollar from YouTube. So what this means is the way YouTube works is if you guys watch our videos enough time, if we get enough views, we start to make some pennies and eventually those pennies stack up. And when you get $100 in your YouTube account, YouTube puts a payment into your personal account. So we have an account that we set up for the Brave and the Boys, but of course we've never had anything in there because you know we're still small, we're still growing. But we finally, because of the amazing viewers, the amazing friends of the channel, the amazing people like you, we got enough to make our first payment. So we went to the bank, we withdrew two $1 bills and we put them in plaques. Guys, we're officially a real YouTuber. I have said for the longest time, I only ever wanted to make a dollar. So this was all I wanted to earn. Anything past that, anything that comes from this channel after this is just a cherry on top of the amazing Sunday because of the awesome people like you. So thank you so much for letting me show this. I'm really proud of it. I'm kind of a huge geek about it. Now let's move on to the section you're all here for, the DC section. And now the section you've all been waiting for, the DC section. So up first, we have a book that may look familiar to you eagle-eyed viewers, Superman Up in the Sky. But this is different than the one that was in this video. This is the hardcover. So if you watched the Superman video all the way through, which I hope you did, you would see that I had the trade paperback, which I got signed by Tom King. I used to own the standard size hardcover, but this has been out of print for a really long time. I shot the Superman video, got Tom King to sign my trade paperback because my ex never returned my Up in the Sky hardcover. And I was happy. I thought, you know what? I'll have that trade paperback until a deluxe or a absolute come in. And then a week after we shot that Superman video, this came back, did a stealth restock on one of the websites and I broke down in a second. So yes, I have the trade paperback. I have the standard size hardcover. And you know what? I'm gonna buy this book in every format it comes out. Then we have a book that's a little damaged for me, but you know what? I got it for a few bucks from a friend from an Ollie's. So shouts out to Ollie's if you guys live near one. And that is Tom King's Rorschach. So this is my little Tom King section. I have to be honest though. I love Tom King and you guys know I love the Watchmen universe. If you want to see how to read everything in the Watchmen universe, except for this, you can watch that here. And if you want to see how to collect Watchmen in every format, you can watch that video here. Rorschach. I thought I was gonna love it. And honestly, it just felt like it was spinning too many plates and there was this big inside joke that I wasn't a part of. Like they even have cameos from other comic book creators in there. And like, I'm gonna read it again. I'm gonna give it some time. I'm gonna read it again because I love almost everything Tom King did. But this was the first book of his that felt kind of flat for me, but it felt like I was the problem. It felt like I wasn't getting something. Maybe you read it. If it, you got something from this and you like it, maybe send me a message because I want to get it. I want to be in on the joke. Like, but it just, I don't think it was for me. I don't think I gained anything from it. You know, maybe it's not for me. Speaking of a book that is for me, we have the John Byrne Man of Steels. So I did include these in my honorable mention of the Superman video, but I've only read the initial arc, which is Man of Steel, the six issues, and I loved it. I know it's controversial. A lot of people think he saved Superman. A lot of people think he took away everything that made Superman great. So I wanna read more of it and I wanna hear more opinions on if it's good or not. Now moving on to more recent Superman, we have Birthright. Birthright you might see Birthright you've seen before. If you want to watch my top 10 DC comics of the year, I'll include that here. Loved Birthright. Thought it was incredible. It's my favorite origin of Superman. Then we have Secret Origin. My third favorite origin of Superman, which is still amazing. And I loved it. And the art is incredible. Then we have Camelot Falls. I bought Camelot Falls because it was recommended as a good Superman story. And then I read like 15 Superman books in a row. And I was like, you know what? I can't read every Superman book. I gotta just shoot the video. So I actually don't know anything about Camelot Falls. If you like Camelot Falls, let me know in the comments down below. Then we got a book that I actually gotta buy in person. So there was a shop called Half Off Books in the downtown area where I live. And I was out getting coffee 
and I walked by it, it wasn't open yet. And I looked inside and I guess they sell books, any books for half off cover price. And I looked in and saw some Omnis and I was like, oh my God, like I wanna come back when they're open. So I came back when they were open, I got Alias and I got this. Now I have to be honest, New 52 Superman's not really my jam. He's a little too grunge, a little too fight the establishment. You know, he's kind of a little too angry. You know, I like my Superman in underwear and a cape, but I want to read it. I love Grant Morrison, but it might not be for me. Now, a book that is for me and was recommended to me by a friend of the channel and I bought live on air, Solo. So Solo is a super cool experiment DC did where they got the greatest artists that they had Darwin Cook, Mike Allred, Tim Sale, and basically said, you have 30 or 40 pages. You can use any character, anything you want. You have no restrictions, basically. Tell whatever story you want to tell. So I do double dip it a little bit in this next one. So Solo by Darwin Cook is in this one right here. And then I think the Tim Sale storyline that's in here, I have in the For All Seasons Absolute. But there are stuff in here that I don't own in other things. So Solo, I can't wait to read. I actually decided to be kind of frugal because this book was out of print and buy a, a cheaper copy, a used copy on eBay. And I got it and it was as bad as my library copy of Justice, again, stolen from my library. So I returned it and I just shelled out for a brand new copy of an out of print one. You know, I'm not the smartest, but I mean, it's 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 got Mike Allred, Darwin Cook, Tim Saylor. How can you say no? Then we have Batman Ego and Other Tales. So this one I also think is starting to be, I think it's out of print, but you can still find it if you look around for it. This is gonna be Darwin Cook's Batman stories. So it has Batman Ego, which I heard influenced the Robert Pattinson Batman. It's gonna have Selena's big score, which is the Ed Brubaker, Darwin Cook storyline of Catwoman's big heist. And after reading Parker, I got really into heist books and I kind of just wanted more of it and I don't know if I need the Catwoman Omni. I'm sure in three months I'll buy it or something and then James will clip this and say I don't need the Catwoman. You guys never let me forget anything but I you know what I have Selena's big score has the Darwin Cook stuff. I think I'm happy. Moving on from that we have Young Justice. Now Young Justice was just a hair before my time of collecting. I don't know much about the Young Justice comic but the Young Justice TV show I've been a huge fan of. I've watched all the seasons. I always fight for another season online. And I love the characters. You have Connor Kent and Impulse and Cassie. And I I can't wait to read the comic book interpretations of them. Then we have a book I literally stole from co-founder Brave Boy Jordan. He said, hey, do you want to borrow Wonder Woman Dead Earth by Daniel Warren Johnson? And I said, of course I do. And then a couple weeks went by and he was like, hey man, how was Wonder Woman Dead Earth? And I go, oh, I'm gonna get to it, I'm gonna get to it. And then finally he's like, hey man, are you ever gonna return it? And I go, honestly, no. Can I just have it, please, pretty please? And he was like, okay. So yes, maybe I do bully the co-founder of this channel, but it was all in good fun, all in good love. Can't wait to read this. It's Wonder Woman, it's Daniel Warren Johnson, and he can do no wrong. I'm gonna put up some art from this book. Absolutely incredible. Then we have something that I've always wanted to own. So you guys know me and Jordan have a lot of formats. I mean, Jordan has more formats of Watchmen than I have of Sandman. And this was one format I always wanted to own, but it was hard to justify. This was the collector's edition. So instead of it being one large book, it is 12 individual deluxe editions for each issue. Now I've heard other friends float this idea and I'm totally gonna steal it, but I wanna read one issue of Watchmen this year, each month on the release dates of the original Watchmen with Jordan and maybe do some videos or a podcast on it. But I wanna read Watchmen, how it originally came out and try to see how that holds up when you only get to read a snippet of the story once a month. So excited for that. Got this from Ollie's for an incredible price. Shouts out to Bunkmaster B. I'm gonna put a link up to his channel. Go ahead and follow him. He's way better. He's a way better comic book YouTuber than me. The last books I got from him, uh, from Bunk, was volume one of Absolute Wonder Woman. Again, how it made its way to an Ollie's, I'll never know, but they had volume one. And by getting volume one, you knew that meant I had to buy volume two. So really happy. You guys know I love Absolute Editions. And honestly, this was a book that really numerous times I got close to buying the Omni, but I've heard that the Cliff Chang art is supposed to be amazing. Jordan's read a lot of their early issues of volume one, and he said it's fantastic. So I'll read these. Uh, maybe me and Bunk will do a video, or maybe me, Bunk, and Jordan will do a video, a live stream next month on him. But 
You guys know I'm never gonna say no to another Absolute Edition. Okay guys, that's gonna bring this video to a close. Let's jump into my final thoughts. And that's gonna bring this video to a close. I wanna thank you all from the bottom of my heart for supporting this channel and supporting Jordan and I, helping us fund our hobby, helping us connect with so many of you and making friends and reading some awesome books. If you wanna support our channel, there's a couple ways you can do that. We have a Discord, we have merch, and we have our sponsor, Organic Price Books. There, if you're buying one to three books, you can save $2 with the code BRAVEBOYS, or if you're buying four or more, you can save 5% with the code BRAVEBOYSSID. If you like the video, go ahead and smash that like button, click subscribe, ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss anything, and comment down below what book I should read first. Hey everyone, you're amazing, keep being awesome, keep reading, and stay brave.